Good morning! So once again I have woken up and another trailer's out. Nothing to do with DC this time. It has everything to do with Beauty and the Beast. And I still haven't had breakfast, so deal with it. If you look back at the Dory reaction trailer, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in there that I teared up a little bit with the teaser for Beauty and the Beast. Because there's always something homely about Disney. Those are all my old Disney classic children's books. I do, I love Disney. I love Disney, I loved Mulan and Pocahontas. They were my gals. But Belle, there is something special about Belle. There's not many Disney princesses who don't start off as a princess. Mulan doesn't, but Pocahontas technically is. She's the daughter of a chief. Is Megara classified as a Disney princess? Disney goddess? Megara is the only Disney goddess, but that's on a different topic. All right, I'm just gonna dive right into it. Let's find this trailer. Down this up. Yes. Ooh, trees. Pretty. What? It just stopped. Oh, there we go. It's a very lonely castle. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that music. Oh, oh that music just gets you. Oh, Lumiere. Ooh. Bonjour. Show me the girl. Look at her. What if she is the one? The one who'll break the spell. Hello. You can talk. Well, of course he can talk. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Chip! The master is not as terrible as he appears. This is hot. I love her so much. Oh, that is beautiful. Whoa. And so it looks like it's gonna be a musical. Probably has already been released. Ooh. Aww. Be a guest. Yeah, so I can't do a French accent. I don't know. It wasn't actually as impacting as I thought it would be. The music is beautiful. I think it's a great tw uh, combination of what was from the animated film and making it fit the live action film. I understand in the animated film, Belle didn't have a French accent. However, it, it is a French fairy tale. So I do find that interesting. I didn't really get a good listen to her dad though, whether or not he had a French accent. Actually, to be honest, I don't think any of them did. <laughs> Except for Lumiere. Lumiere is 100% French. Bonjour! <laughs> Cogsworth looks like he's going to be stuffy as always, which is great. Mrs. Potts, oh bless her soul. She's just beautiful. So is Chip. I don't know, I just had a feeling that they might try and get rid of Mrs. Potts or the teapot. I hope they don't get rid of the wardrobe. I've forgotten the wardrobe's name. She's so cool. She's just like, Whoa, especially in the final battle, battle scene. She's just all in there. I think I saw the feather duster. If the feather duster is in there and Lumiere doesn't have a B story relationship with her, I will be disappointed. How do you make cutlery and household ornaments alive? It's still not sold, but at the same time it's magic. Just accept it and enjoy it. Not completely sold in the beast makeup or CGI. You know how when you see something you can still see the CGI? The dance scene looked absolutely incredible. I'm pretty sure Disney reused the animation from Cinderella when Cinderella was dancing with her Prince Charming. Fun fact, Cinderella getting her beautiful gown from the Godmother is apparently Disney's favourite piece of animation. I reckon that scene with Gaston and LeFou and the townspeople, I think that's going to be hilarious. I wonder if Gaston's going to have his three lovely ladies. I think in the classic fairy tale she actually had two sisters. 
Let me check that. The original tale told of a wealthy widowed merchant who lived in a mansion with his six children, three sons and three daughters. All his daughters are very beautiful, but the youngest beauty is the most, well, I'm guessing that's Belle. It's most lovely as well as kind, well read and pure of heart. That's probably Belle. Well, the two eldest sisters, in contrast, are wicked, selfish, vain, spoiled. So instead of a massive run on the castle from Gaston and the Fu, it looks like the traditional tale actually has Belle returning home and being tricked by her sisters to not return. And then of course the rose petals start to fall and Bee starts to die. However, Gaston has become probably one of the best pieces about Beauty and the Beast. He should be a Disney princess, right? Well that's a wrap, thank you for watching. Do you think Gaston should be a Disney princess? And do you think Megara should be a Disney goddess? Pop your answers in the comments below and as always, thanks for watching.